November 2010 was the first time I laid eyes on you. Many months later, in early 2011, where I was randomly introduced to you and I had no idea you were the same girl. And since then, we've gone through quite a bit. At every phase of change, we have had our personal and couple struggles. But one thing was always constant, was that we faced it hand in hand. So building on the two promises I made to you, one in 2011, the night before I left to Sydney, where we were just mere teenagers that danced and hugged in an empty open air car park under a blanket of stars. And one when I proposed to you in France. I promise this to you, I will always love you. I have loved you for the girl I've met in her teens, the, the woman you've blossomed into today, and the woman you'll grow into the future. So, Sayang, here's to the next chapter, and no matter what life throws at us, good, bad, let's go through it, honey. John and Sue Ann have been dating for more than 10 years. I was actually kept in the dark. I'm not sure why they think I am overprotective of my little girl. Now they have got to know Sean, I can see how happy Sue Ann is. Okay, here's to a lifetime of love and happiness to the couple. I'm sure all of you know, Suen's pranks are really a different level. I'm, you know, jokes aside, just want to say that just like the nickname you gave me, your presence has definitely brought a unique and refreshing flavour to all of our lives. Sean and I were playing badminton outside when suddenly, a monkey twice my size jumped right in front of us. Just when I thought I was done for, I see Sean rushing in to save me. In his hand was a really huge and dangerous weapon, a badminton racket. At that point, I knew he was never going to let anyone bully me unless, of course, it was himself. I can also say, Sean, from the bottom of my heart, that Suen's heart has only been filled with love for you. You are definitely one lucky man. It's a badminton record for you. May you use it with great power and great responsibility in protecting Suen for the rest of her life. Sean hates sharing his food. But no matter how hungry he is, he would always give me the first and last bite. Or tells me he isn't hungry at all. And gives me his portion. Even if Sean only had $100, he would give me $90 and keep only $10 for himself and tells me he has enough. You are also a fierce protector. You're so protective that you will not let me remove my pee driver sticker from my car. Because you believe people would be nicer to me on the road. <laughs> Most of all, you taught me that 
When you love someone, you don't just love them at their best. You ride with them at their highs, but you accept them at their worst and hold their hand through the darkest times. Where the sun meets the horizon line You and me stand in the test of time Two hearts run free We're never looking back This love, this love was made to last to say that you look amazingly dashing and it's very rare that I see you clean up like that. <laughs> Sean and I are actually very different people. Our tastes in music are even more vastly different but today I hope that you are proud that I can at least identify songs from The Strokes and The Beatles and I am so glad that you have a growing preference towards Harry Styles and rave music. Where the sun meets the horizon from the first day and I will always love you. Even if we leave this earth and start a new life in another dimension or heaven, I will look for you. Or maybe you look for me and chase me again. You are my first and last love. All right, guys. the sun meets the horizon You may kiss the bride. This love, this love was made to last. This love was made to last.